Hello, hi, we're going to do a really quick Fast and Furious book review of The Woman in Cabin 10. This book is by Ruth Ware and it is creepy. It is so creepy. Right off the bat, this is a thriller, mystery, sweep you off your feet, read it in one or two or three days type of book and I highly recommend it for people who are just like chilling on the beach wanting a quick read. This was one of Reese Witherspoon's book club picks so that's how I found it and I'm so glad I did because it had my skin crawling. Ruth Ware writes about anxiety and sort of um, claustrophobia and being trapped in this way that makes your skin literally crawl. You're like, oh my god. Uh. I felt almost claustrophobic reading it. So if you're triggered by um, anxiety or, or being trapped, things like that, uh, I don't know if this is the book for you. But if you love a thriller that manifests in your body and you can physically feel it, pick this book up at the library. It starts out with the main character. Her name is Lo or Lauren and she gets burgled. Like right, is that the right way to say it? Burgled? A burglar comes to her house and you're nervous. You're nervous for her and she has to go on a trip with the company that she works for. This five day trip on this boutique tiny little yacht boat thing. Uh, she doesn't know anybody. She's just there as a travel reporter and she's already on edge. She hasn't slept. There's like this sleep deprivation that happens throughout the book and it's just like, oh, it's heavy. You feel tired reading it, but you can't put it down. So you stay up all night. She gets on this boat and then all kinds of antics ensue. So there's some characters and character development uh, about the other people on the boat, but I would say it's mainly focused on her and what's going on in her head. And there are these little flashes of news reports um, that separate all the parts. There's like six parts or seven parts to the book and there's little news reports along the way that kind of get you going like, what is happening? I don't recommend this book. If you are on a cruise, okay? I would wait until you get safely onto shore or just don't even, just wait until your cruise is over and then you can read this book because it will creep you out. This is what it looks like, y'all. And I highly recommend the app Libby. It connects you to your library. You don't need to buy all of these books, although you absolutely can. I'll put a link below to the Libby app. Obviously, this is not an endorsement. This is literally the library. It was an instant New York Times bestseller, USA Today. This is the same author who wrote Dark Dark Wood, uh, Summer Must List, Summer Must Read, New York Post, blah, 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 Bustle, Oprah.com, Pure Wow. Obviously, it's a good book, okay? Really surprising twists, lots of fun. I highly recommend it. And tune back in as soon as I finish another book, which will probably be in a week or so, for another book review. And post in the comments if you have a specific book that you would like me to read and review. I like to do quick, short reviews and uh, get to reading.